to the last segment of our show, the frontal lobe training. This is where I share my own personal experience with you all so that you can learn from my experience and you don't have to go through none of this yourself because a wise person learns from other people's experience. Let me set it up. Have you ever been told to do something, given some advice from somebody, and you know, that don't even sound right. That advice is not even for me. That had happened to me before. I was 15. Yeah, it was way, way back in the day. Y'all want me to tell the day? It was, gosh, it must have been, it was 87. I was 15, Plantation High School. I remember exactly where I was. We were walking by the auditorium in the back of the school by the parking lot, and I was with a friend. We're going to call her Priscilla because, you know, whatever, for whatever reason, I chose the word Priscilla. That's not her real name. That's what we're going to call her. Walking with Priscilla. And Priscilla was like, I was whining. I think, I know I was whining. I was whining about how no guys like me. I don't have no man in high school. And, you know, there was a reason I didn't have a man. Dr. D. Nice was a little chubby. I needed to lose some weight. Let's just be straight up honest. High school guys have a type, a popular type, and I was not it. I just didn't fit in that mold at that moment. Afterwards, yeah, I hadn't lost any weight yet. I did lose. <sighs> Let's just focus. I was whining about how no guys like me and I wanted a boyfriend because everybody had a boyfriend, blah, 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 blah. And my friend, after we had talked about it for a little bit, she looked to me and she said, Well, maybe you should start liking girls. What did you say, ma'am? She jumped from New York City to London, straight across the whole, is that the Pacific Ocean or the Atlantic? One of them, Atlantic. She jumped all across the whole ocean to get to that conclusion. I'm like, what? Just because I don't have no man because... And that was the advice that... Priscilla gave me. Where did that come from? Straight out of left field. Listen. <clears throat> Listen to me very carefully. Be very careful how you take advice from others. Be wise and weigh every advice that you're given well. Because wisdom understands that oftentimes people mean well when they're giving you advice. And especially the young, the immature, the ones that have not had your friend, you and your friends have not had a life, lot of life experiences. You tend to give advice from your perspective, from your own personal beliefs and not looking at the full picture. Some people just not good at giving advice and it's not like they mean you harm. They just harm you in their advice. Sometimes people actually are looking for an opportunity to mislead you. They've been waiting for this chance for you to ask them something so you can, they can give you misinformation. It's just the truth of it all. You, they would have you going down a path that you were never even meant to go down before because this is somebody you like, somebody you respect, and they just throwing stuff out there random. That has nothing to do with you. I mean, for you, even for myself, looking at the advice that this person gave me, I grew up in a Christian house. Come on now. I, I never exhibited anything to make her think that I was gay and that was the conclusion that she came up to because I didn't have a boyfriend. She skipped all across the Atlantic. What is going on? Absolutely not. Then make sure that you weigh advice when people, and of course, make sure you understand 
the person that's giving advice, understand their intention behind advising you. You have to be able to, to, to understand these things. And that was wisdom. Then there is stupidness. You just, whatever people say about you, for you, advise you, is the real deal. That is where you're going to go. They say you're this. Okay, that's what I'm going to do then. No. You'll have people having you all over the place, not where you need it to be. Anyway, there you have it. Wisdom, stupidness. Choose wisdom. And remember, show me your brightest. Show me your best. Show me the latest guru. God's wisdom. Let theirs look like stupidness. Hey, let me know in the comments section below if anybody had ever given you some advice that you know it had nothing to do with you and your experience. They, it's like they were... They didn't even they weren't even listening to your 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 complaints or your problem. They were just waiting to tell somebody this foolishness. Let me know in the comment section below if you've ever been given advice. Let me see. 